Why is nothing coming up? I don't know. John. What are we doing? Bad. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh god. This is so uh, complicated. Hello, my name is Red Sail. I'm leader of the Beer Warrior Gaming and Beer Community. Community Warfare has dropped. Beer Warriors, you may have noticed that you have a House Merrick tag. This is not a bug. We are House Merrick for 14 days. After 14 days, we will switch to Clan Ghost Bear for another 14 days. We will switch back and forth between each. This means you'll be fighting alongside other players of your faction. This is the Inner Sphere. Each faction has different border planets that are currently under conflict. You'll be fighting in these conflict planets for Seabill's loyalty points and to increase our borders. On the right hand side there's a panel that allows you to quickly select planets that you can attack with the red sword or defend with the purple shield. The rest are simply planets that are neutral. If you click on a planet, you'll notice that your dropship appears. It's those four mechs at the bottom. These are four mechs that will be usable during invasion mode. Simply click on the mech, click edit, and then choose the mech you want. Your drop deck must fit within 140 and 240 tons. The 3333 rule no longer applies, so you can take whatever mech you want, as long as it fits within the tonnage requirements. This notification means that one of my planets is under attack and needs to be defended. Let's click it and get straight to work. This is the lobby. You are currently waiting for a match when you are in this lobby. You don't have to do anything. I've already grouped up with three other of my friends. However, they do not appear in the lobby. Currently, no one will appear in the lobby until your team has been filled. Once enough players have been found to fill the team and the battle is ready to commence, the lobby will populate. During this time, you still have the ability to edit your dropship. Alright, we found a team. We have five minutes to prepare for the match and there will be a countdown timer at the top right. We are defending. It looks like we're defending the hot map. This has three areas of entry where the enemy can attack. I'm in a drop ship. It's flying over the battlefield right now, and when the game begins, I'll drop. Ah, we dropped out of it! Let's take a look at the new map. There are three areas where the enemy can enter. Each of these entry points has a gateway and a power generator. Once the enemy pushes past that gateway, they will attack the center. In the center is an orbital cannon. That's your objective. Protect it. Looks like the enemy is already attacking our generator. If I had higher position, I could shoot back. And there is a ramp on my side, but I'm out of position and I can't get to it. So they're going to destroy our generator. Now the gate is opening. The enemy will attack. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, there's Charlie! After the first wave, I'm killed. However, no fret. I'll respawn. I have three mechs remaining. I'll select which mech I want and wait for the timer. Here I go. I'm dropping back in. As I'm coming in, any enemy ships that are near the dropship will be fired at by the dropship itself. All my primary weapons have been destroyed, so I'm practically useless. However, I can eject. Hold down K for three seconds without being fired at, and I'll die and respawn. The enemy made it past our defenses at the last minute, and they're firing at our orbital cannon. We can defend it as long as we want, but eventually, it explodes. Let's try attacking a planet. The rules are the same, except we're on the other side. Because we hopped on Community Warfare kind of early, we managed to hop onto a planet that had no enemies. This is a great opportunity for me to show you how to attack in invasion mode. The map we're on only has two areas of entry, unlike the other planet, and this one's colder. As we approach the gate, there's a ramp that leads up to the top. Both maps have one. This is the way to get up to the top and shoot their generator. However, there's a large laser turret up here. Don't take it for granted, it does a lot of damage. With the destruction of the generator, the gate opens and we're able to enter. Be 
As we enter the base, our objective comes into view. That's the orbital cannon. However, firing at it from here won't do any damage, as our objective is to kill the generator behind it. After we push past the enemy, we have to fire at the generator located at the back of the orbital cannon. Once that's destroyed, victory. And that concludes the quick summary for Community Warfare. Happy hunting out there, beer warriors.